I think I think Ancelotti could be there for a while if you know if circumstances remain good for everybody. I think that he. But what has Carlo Ancelotti got to prove to anybody? What has he What has he got to add to his trophy cabinet that he hasn't got? Like he, other than the thing which I think a lot of us would love to see him do at some point, which is lead Italy to a World Cup. That would be yeah. fantastic. Well, but maybe I mean, take Roma, the team he loves. But you know, it's funny. You know how like an object at rest remains at rest. Mm. Ancelotti's kind of perpetually at rest. In fact, I was thinking, there's only two jobs that he's ever left. You know, by choice. Mm. Um, one of them was. Well, when he moved very early in his career, when he moved from Medellana to uh, to Parma, mm-hmm. and the other one was when he left Paris Saint Germain for Real Madrid. Everywhere else, you know, he was basically kind of shown the door. So, just inertia, and as long as De Laurentiis doesn't go too mad and gives him raw material to work with, I could see him staying in Napoli for a long time. I really did think that one day he'll go to Roma and take that club on and be sort of the man that everyone will trust, so he'll have the time that he needs to develop that squad. It's possible. Obviously, he played for Roma early in his career. Um, was a, was a part of their their Scudetto winning side in 1983-84. The one thing, and so people always draw that link. I don't know. I think Ancelotti can be happy anywhere. Yeah. But this his link to Rome. It's not like Claudio Agnelli. Is you know I played a few years there when I was young. Mm. I liked it. But I don't think he necessarily has the emotional link to Rome that he would have to to other places. I'm just going to run through players very quickly. And you tell me how many of them do you think are good enough to play for Roma next season or idea. worth another shot. Okay, I'm going to go through this. I like this team. So this people understand it yet, but I like I'm the sorry. idea. Olsen. Yeah, he's going to stay. Yep. He shouldn't, for sure. He shouldn't. No, I would say no. No. Okay. Um, just, just a yes should do. You don't yeah, need to. Right. And then this is what who's good enough, not who's likely to stay. I agree with you. Olsen they're stuck with, right? Uh, but <laughs> All right. I, my, my, my question you want to die on the Robin Olsen no, hill? My, it's my, early. It's just when we're doing yes or no, my, my issue is what we, do I think is realistic? Like if you, do I think that there are bigger priorities than goalkeepers to replace? Yes, which is why I said yes. Yeah, no, no, but we're trying to get a sense of how much they need to work on. Okay. Are right? they, is he worthy of running? That's going to be the question. You're not going to be able to fix all Exactly. You're not going to be able to fix all of them, right? Okay. Florenzi? Yeah, he stays. Yes? Yes. Manolas? Yes. yes. Fazio? No. Jesus? No. No. Karsdorp? No. no. We're not doing great, are we? What about you? But the defense what? is what we know. De Rossi? Yes. Cristante? Yes. yes. Nzonzi? No. Pastore? No. no. Perotti? Yes. Uh, yeah. Under? Yes. Yes. Cliver? Yes, because we don't know. Because we, we don't, don't know. know. We you, do you, know. You, you, you want to know more from him. Yeah. Ante Koric? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Marcano? No. <laughs> Checo? Yes. If you could get a price from him I right know. now, yeah, I'd you be... should sell. Yeah. yeah, you should sell for sure. That's and a clever thing to do. Elsha? <laughs> yes, I love Elsha Ali. Really? Okay. Do you? Why? Yeah, he's, the, the team is better when he's in it because because you need, if you're going to play uh, a 4 3 3, it's a massive asset if, if, if at least one of your um, front three is a grafter, and Elsha Ali is a grafter. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah, he does Of course. Yeah. Schick? Yes. Mm, no. Mm. You would tell him. Well, again, mm. I don't know if I would tell him who's going to pay it's for him. It's hard for the numbers to work yeah. with Schick, but yeah. I don't, I don't like him. I'm not, I'm not yeah. sold. He's had enough chances. So you're selling Dzeko and Schick? Yeah. Okay. And Go so buy me a striker and a centre-back. I don't need to ask, yeah? yeah this no. is why I don't want to sell Olsen, because it's like, oh, God, we've got bigger problems, guys. <laughs> did I so mention Pastore? And we all yeah. did, and we all said no, of So what are you going to do? No, I'm just saying, there is... There's a lot of work. I think what's pretty critical is whoever the next manager is. I mean, who is the next manager? We need to discuss that. That's the burning question because there are so many people linked to this. Yeah. But I, I think the, the the first premise you say, listen, this is the squad. We need to finish top four. If you tell me, you know, we can make some changes, we're not going to get rid of 12, 15 players. Mm. We can't. Mm. So you need to say, all right. I can work with this group and I can take you top four if you only buy two or three guys. Yeah. That should be the first discriminant for the manager. Yes. I don't want to bring in, you know, some genius who says like, oh, well, I'm going to need three years to change everything. No, because Roma, for, for many reasons, need to finish top four. They need to be a yeah. Champions League club. And, they, and if that means being a little bit more short-termist and less visionary, mm. so be it. I think they need to, they, they've hopefully learned the mistake from Monchi where he, as... 
Paolo has pointed out many, many times. <laughs> it's not just that his signings were bad, and some of them were, but it's that they didn't fit the manager's style of play. So first and foremost, you have to have a manager who says, I'm going to work with these guys, I'm going to play him here, him there, him there, this is how we're going to play, and then we, we fill in these two or three gaps around that. Yeah. Okay, I so critical. I think that what you're basically saying is that this needs to be a team with a coach who can already work with the skeleton of what's available. So for me, philosophers are out, which means that Maurizio Sad is out. Exactly, so I was going with that. Because people have been linking, in fact, the same people who of course said that Monchi was definitely going to Arsenal are also the <laughs> same people who said that Sarri is definitely leaving Chelsea at the end of the season to go to Roma. Mm -hmm. May it happen. But yeah, I mean... What's he going to work with here exactly? And Zonzi can't impersonate Jorginho, is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> Maybe Chris Sandy can. Um, <laughs> So I, I think that's important. So the other guy who's been, who's been mentioned of late, who is certainly more of a pragmatist, I think he has other issues, is Leonardo Jardim from, from Monaco. Now, I'm a huge fan of this man. I think that he's been terrific for Monaco. I think that he's adaptable and can play attacking football or defensive football or a balanced style of football. I think he's taken Monaco far and wide. Now you think that his personality is one that can cause huge issues. I think his personality in a place like Rome could be difficult mm. because obviously it's easy to go look at look at him and dismiss him and say, yeah, well, when you had the great team, you did very well, you won the But were they the a league. great team or did he make them a great team? I mean, he Brent made Carrasco look like a genius, you know? Okay, he made well, Martial the most expensive forward uh, and before Mbappe. I don't think if, I don't know if he did that or Ed Woodward did that, but... Um, <laughs> But now look, Mondi, the Sidibe, the the Bernardo Silva, Bakayoko. I mean, this is Ligon we're talking about. These Thomas are difference Lamar, makers. Yeah. Thomas Lamar, obviously. Um, th my main question with him is obviously you need to do a forensic analysis of what went wrong this summer because regardless whether you know he was he was fight for those who don't know he was fired from Monaco with Monaco either in the relegation zone or very close to the relegation zone. Um, absolute horrendous start, and then they hired Thierry Henry, and then things got even worse under Henry. Then Jardim returned in the latter part of the season. He never left Monaco, and all those mm -hmm. weird things. Kept getting his salary. Monaco is a, a very, very small place, which the whole thing would have been weird. It's one road, effectively. So <laughs> I'm interested to see where snakes all around. Yeah. Um, but. The, the issue is in highly political situations, as and the Roma manager inevitably is, I don't know that he's necessarily the right fit in that sense, in that chaotic sense. Mm -hmm. I'd want to know exactly what went wrong over the summer, do a forensic analysis, speak to people in and around the club. God knows there's enough Italians in football mm -hmm. who base themselves in Monaco who can probably tell you and and then make a decision based on that. But don't you think that just based on his CV, considering what he's achieved, and the fact that maybe maybe Roma should go for a guy who does almost have a bad character, who has something a little bit more, like, I'm going to take charge of this, stop pushing me around, because we tried with Eusebio Di Francesco. Uh, we tried with Luciano Spalletti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they really had. Yeah, but then he had to contend with that whole Totti issue, but imagine he didn't have to. That would have been a lot easier. Yeah, that's true. So you guys can contend with the De Rossi issue, that's yeah. good. But De Rossi is <laughs> just not that much of an issue. De Rossi won't be the same issue that Totti was. It won't be because because he isn't Totti. He isn't in the way he carries himself. In he's the way Captain that he... Future. Yeah, <laughs> but he's a nice guy. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know that like everyone loves Rossi, and I'm obviously not a fan. But like, still bitter he's... about this, huh? Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm intensely bitter about a man who continues to remind me he was asked to go to, to Real Madrid. It's like we get it. Yeah, <laughs> the reason you choose not to go is because you didn't want to expose yourself. But anyway.